Hey guys, what's up? If you're new here, hi, I'm Rose. Thank you for stopping by. It means a lot that you found my channel. I am basically a 24 year old living in New York City. I went to City College and now I am graduated and I work in public relations at a public relations firm in New York City. I really, really wanted to do a video today on my college journey as a whole. Mine was definitely not normal compared to most. Most people just select a school, go there for four years, and then they're done. But I definitely had a different college experience and I just wanted to share it with you guys because I think it's kind of helpful to know, you know, that you can relate to someone that's in a similar boat as you. And I just wanted to share, you know, kind of the story of my college journey. So let's just get straight on into it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And let's just get on into it. I started out at the University of Rhode Island. I was very very dedicated to going to a school that was far away from me. Everyone in my high school, we all wanted to go away. That was just kind of what people suggested like you need like a fresh start you want that typical like traditional college campus and so that's what I wanted I wanted like a school like a huge school I kind of wanted it to be like a party school I basically based all my college applications off of I'm Schmack videos which is like not suggested at all URI had like an amazing one and I was like this is gonna be lit like it was a huge school lots of people you know they have a football team football games like I'm from New York City and that's not normal Normal here so I just really wanted that type of experience let me just backtrack a little when I was applying to colleges I was very serious about acting and singing and so basically all the schools that I applied to it was just applying to these competitive programs where I feel like I limited myself because I didn't just apply normally like general admission I was applying like to these specific programs and if I didn't get in which was like such a long shot then I just ended up kind of like crossing off the school off my list. So basically URI was the only school that you could go into the acting program without auditioning. And at first I was like, okay, this seems like fine. But once I got into the program, I realized that like a lot of the kids had never taken an acting class. Like they had never acted in their life so I kind of felt like cheated out and I was like well this kind of sucks because I'm with these kids that like really don't like acting or don't even know how to and I feel like I am experienced and I am well versed and you know I just felt like I deserved something higher but I stuck with it and it was going fine but I just could kind of feel that I wanted to do something else like I wanted to focus on something else and I knew that I'd always have acting and and singing you know that's that would always be one of my passions so I was like I need to just figure out what I want to do in life like I just need to decide like what's my calling I left the acting major after freshman year and I decided to just be undecided for a while so I was just kind of figuring it out like testing out classes I finally decided that I was just going to be a communications major because that was super simple super general I am outgoing and like I just felt like that was the right major for me you know kind of what happened is it's like a long long story like I can't explain all of it but basically me and Tom met at URI and by the end of that first year um he just was not doing good in school he did so poorly that he got kicked out of uri and i was basically on my own for the next semester we had just gotten into a relationship and that was definitely tough for us like just being a new relationship and then going long distance so i stayed at uri for the beginning of my sophomore year and he went to a community college in massachusetts so i was sticking with uri i was like this is fine but you know i'm obviously not that happy like I really miss Tom and just what's the point of being here and spending all this money if you know like I, there's nothing really holding me at URI like I can do communications anywhere so after my first semester of my sophomore year at URI I decided to leave and go back home it was definitely a tough decision but I feel like it was the right one and my parents kind of felt the same way just because URI was really expensive and I you know I just didn't feel like 
like anything was holding me there. So I decided to leave URI and I went to BMCC, Borough of Manhattan Community College. I kept continuing my communications degree and just kept you know, taking the required classes. Like I was just really focused and especially being at home, you know, that made me extra focused. It was definitely a weird transition going from like being on a campus all by myself, like at college and then going back to like being with my parents and like living at home. Like that was definitely probably the hardest transition ever. So if any of you have done that, like I totally feel your pain and you know, you feel like you have like total freedom and then to like really none when you move back home. It was a wake up call, but it also just got me focused on like, I need to get, I just wanna get this degree done. I still didn't really know what I wanted to do. And a lot of kids in my major, you know, they knew like, I wanna do this, I wanna, work at this company and I just really didn't have that like driver passion or vision for anywhere and I just really didn't know. So I started doing a lot of research of just schools in the city that offer certain communications programs, like what they specialize in, what they offer. And I just wanted to kind of like weigh my options and see what was out there. I really didn't know anything about any of the city schools and what they offered. So I was kind of like new to it all. After researching a bunch, I finally found the City College Advertising Public Relations Program and it just really jumped out to me like right when I saw it and I started reading about it I was like this sounds really interesting I really think I would like PR just because it's about you know building relationships um, helping people's reputation and I just thought it was so interesting and I was like I feel like this might be like the thing my calling, my passion, like I'm not sure, but I just wanna see. So I eventually decided, okay, I'm gonna apply to City College, see if I get in, and then we'll just take it from there because you have to apply into the ad PR program. So I eventually got into City College and it actually took me two tries to get into the ad PR program. So I just wanna point out that you know, even then, like I applied and I didn't get in and I was let down and I was like, why? Like, why is this happening to me? Like, why is everything prolonged? I feel like I am like the longest, like oldest college student around, but really everyone goes at their own pace. So I eventually got into the ad PR program and that's when I really felt like this is my calling. Like, this is what I'm meant to do. Like, I really am so passionate about it and I really am interested in like the entertainment sector. So I just really focused on school like I was so focused on all my classes I really loved all my teachers and I just felt like I excelled in the PR you know field in terms of school and so I feel like I finished off on like such an amazing high note and I just felt like everything kind of fell into place. For any of you that have had like a similar journey to me, a similar college journey to me, it's okay to be late and it's okay to not finish in four years and it's totally fine to just take your time and go at your own pace because I feel like everyone kind of has their own journey and goes at their own pace and you know, don't feel like you're being judged if you can't finish in four years if you need to take a semester off, if you need a transfer, you don't feel like the school is the right fit for you. Listen to yourself and just take your own advice and like go with your gut feeling because I feel like if I had just stayed at URI the whole four years, I probably wouldn't have the job that I have now. So I just feel like you really have to just go with the flow and like listen to your gut. I fell into the place that I am now because of my college journey and how crazy it was and how like not normal it was. So I just wanted to tell you guys that, you know, like just don't be upset or sad or feel left out or like out of the group if you're not fin finishing college within four years. Don't be hard on yourself because I really was hard on myself and I felt kind of like an outcast, especially with all my friends in high school who already had jobs and who already had graduated so long ago. And I honestly felt like a grandmother or something. I was like, what's wrong with me? Like, I don't know why it's taking me so long. Like I was kind of embarrassed, but I just want you guys to know that like you shouldn't be embarrassed at all and like you're not alone. Everyone's college journey is not like this smooth straightforward path like a lot of the times you think you're gonna be interested in something you think that you're destined to do something and then when you actually start learning and getting into it like you realize this is not my thing so like just don't 
put pressure on yourself to feel like you have to be forced into this one way. For any of you that found a school and finished in four years, like congrats, that is amazing. And I obviously wish that happened to me, but at the same time, I feel like I grew so much at each school and learned so much about myself, learned about my passions. I also obviously met amazing people. I met my boyfriend at URI, so I obviously don't regret going there. I don't regret anything about the journey, but I'm just saying that you know, I thought it was gonna be one way and it went totally differently. So that's just, that's just how it goes. And like, that's just how life is. You just have to roll with the punches and yeah. I never expected my college journey to be like this, but I'm really, really glad and grateful that it did turn out like this, that it did take me longer and that I was able to really find something that I'm super passionate about. It's okay to go to a school near you and not go far away and not spend all this money. So please don't overlook the schools in your area. I want you guys to ask any questions in the comments below about college, anything, any college related thing, I'm here to help. I definitely want to give you guys advice. Just wanted to, you know, give you guys a little insight into my college journey and how not normal it was but how amazing it was and just how well it all turned out for me and I'm just so thankful for all the experiences. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more college related content please let me know. I love making videos for you guys and I just want to make what you guys want to see. I will catch you guys in my next video. <laughs>